Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Today we will use strip method to determine the desired moment for a slab. So the question asks us to determine the desired moment for a rectangular slab shown below using strip method. So the slab, the reinforced concrete slab has a width of 4.5 meter and a length of 6 meter. It has a thickness of 150 mm. So we have a floor finish of 30 mm cement squared and on the top of it we have 20 mm thick marble. Material properties use C25 concrete and S300 steel. Take a variable load of 3 kN per meter square. So the first step is to divide the slab into rectangular strips. Since we are using a strip method, we'll use strips to divide the slab into edge strips and middle strip. So we have edge strips having a dimension of B over 4, B over 4, and middle strips B minus B over 2, that will give us B over 2. And on edge strips, the load is transferred half in both directions. So we have W over 2 in the vertical direction as well as in the transverse direction on four corners. On four corners. And the remaining load is transferred to the shortest direction. So we have W to the shortest direction in the x-axis, W in the vertical direction, W in the x-direction. The second step will be to determine the desired load. So we'll use this load combination to determine the desired load. So according to this load combination, the desired load will be 1.3 times the permanent load plus 1.6 times the variable load. So permanent load is nothing but the self-weight of the structure, the self-weight of the slab. QK is the variable load of the slab. Gamma is the unit weight of the material used and H is the thickness. So first let's calculate the permanent load. So the self-weight of the reinforced concrete slab will be unit weight of reinforced concrete slab multiplied by the thickness. So since we are using C25 concrete, its unit weight will be 25 kilonewton per meter cube multiplied by its thickness 0.15 meter. So it will give us 3.75 kilonewton per meter square. Next, we will calculate the self-weight of cement screed. So self-weight of cement screed will be the unit weight of cement screed multiplied by the thickness of cement screed. So use 23 kilonewton per meter cube as a unit weight for cement script multiplied by its thickness its thickness is 0 0.03 meter we will obtain 0 0.69 kilonewton per meter square finally we will calculate the self weight of marble so it is unit weight of the marble multiplied by the thickness of the marble take 27 kilonewton per meter cube as the unit weight of marble multiplied by its thickness 0 0.02 meter. Finally, we will obtain 0 0.54 kilonewton per meter square. Proceeding, we will calculate the total permanent load resting on the slab. So we have permanent load of the slab, permanent load of the cement screed, plus permanent load of the marble. So will have 4.98 kilonewton per meter square area load resting on the slab. So according to this desired load, we will we'll have to multiply permanent load by 1.3 and the variable load by 1.6. So 1.3 times the summation of permanent load 4.98 kilonewton per meter square plus 1.6 times 3 kilonewton per meter square variable load that's given so we will obtain 11.27 kilonewton per meter square area 
design load. So on street methods, we will use a strip, a strip of one meter. So we have to multiply this area load by one meter width strip. So 11.27 kilo newton per meter squared multiplied by one meter, we will obtain 11.27 kilo newton per meter. Third step will be to determine the design load on each strip. So to do that, we'll take a section. So for strip one, we have a load in the x direction. We have also a load on the x direction on the edge strips, and we do not have anything on the middle. So we have a beam. We support us a load of W, 11.27 kN per meter on both edges. And since this dimension is B over 4, we have B over 4. And this is also will be B over 4. Next is to calculate the moment. So we take a section. So moment in the X will be the load W multiplied by length B over 4 multiplied by the moment term b over 8 so it will give us wb squared over 32 so inserting numerical values 11.27 multiplied by 4.5 squared divided by 32 we will obtain 7.13 kilonewton meter per meter moment in the x direction across strip 1 1 Similarly, for strip 2, 2, we have W over 2 load in the X direction. We have W over 2 load in the X direction. So, we'll take a section and calculate the moment M2X on the edge strips. So, the load will be W over 2 multiplied by length b over 4 multiplied by the moment r b over 8 so we are left with wb squared over 64 inserting numerical values we will obtain a moment of 3.56 kilonewton meter per meter on the edge strip next we'll take a section on strip 3.3 so this is a vertical strip, so we'll consider a vertical load W. So this W is applied on this direction. So we have W which is equals to full load 11.27 kN per meter. It's acting on 4.5 meter width beam. So M3 moment in the Y direction will be given by W B squared over 8. So we will obtain a moment of 28.53 kN meter per meter. Left with a strip 44. So for strip 44, we'll take the vertical direction. We'll have W over 2 on the edge strips. So W over 2, which is 5.64 kN per meter on both sides. So we'll take a section and calculate M4Y. M4Y will be W over 2 multiplied by its length, B over 4, multiplied by its moment arm, B over 8, which will be half of B over 4. It will give us WB squared over 64. Inserting the values, 11.27, which is the load, multiplied by 4.5 squared, divided by 64 we will have 3.56 kilonewton meter per meter so we have obtained all the moments so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe thanks guys